in political science for class 11 we are continuing the chapter local governments and today we are taking urban local government children you remember that we have covered the local government for rural areas like the villages under panchayati raj system and today we are going to cover the local government for urban areas within a state and under districts and these are the cities small big and these local governments have also got the constitutional status okay and they are called municipalities and in urban areas the municipal administration you know that was restored after the independence as it was abolished during the british rule and in 1993 an amendment took place constitutional amendment act and number was 74th and please remember that 73rd amendment was for the panchayati raj and 74th amendment is for local urban governments 73rd was 73rd was for local rural government and 74th is for local urban government so this is very important amendment act act means the law that took place in 1993 and because of this the municipalities or local urban government system was added in the scheduled in the scheduled which schedule 12th okay and nagar palika act is also the name for the same thing so nagar palika act 1993 or 74th amendment is the same thing and they have the following features so features of nagar palika act they are like this act provides for municipal corporations and in hindi they are called nagar nigams in big cities so big cities has big cities have the local government as municipal corporation or nagar nigam as in dehradun also we have nagar nigam before 2000 okay uh, before that it was nagar palika and now it is nagar nigam in big cities okay and municipalities or nagar palika in cities with a population between 2 lakhs and 20000 and nagar panchayat please pay attention to this also and a nagar panchayat is formed in the areas in urban area with the population below 20000 people okay so the uh, establishment the establishment of these municipalities is on the basis of the population and status standard of the area in urban area all right then here also seats are reserved for scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and that is on the basis of the proportion of their population and here also one third seats are reserved for women and the term or duration is 5 years or before that also if it is dissolved then fresh elections have to take place within 6 months and the money the fund the financial help is given from the consolidated fund of the state because that is in the state only now we are uh, moving on to the structure of municipalities collectively we are calling municipalities but specifically municipal corporation and simple municipality 
म्यूनिसिपैलिटीज फॉर स्मॉल स्टेट स्मॉल सिटीज एंड म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन फॉर बिग सिटीज और मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटीज एंड हेयर चिल्ड्रन वी आर कंपेयरिंग दैम आई हैव मेड टू पार्ट्स ऑफ फॉर दीज टू थिंग्स म्यूनिसिपैलिटीज एंड म्यूनिसिपल कॉरपोरेशन फॉर द कन्वीनियंस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल्सो एंड टू सेव टाइम ऑल्सो हेयर सो फर्स्ट वी आर टेकिंग द कॉम्पोजिशन here for uh, first side is municipalities and the other side is municipal corporation so there is a council consisting of councillors who are elected by adults living in that area and in municipal corporations general council that is also of elected members elected by all adults whose names are in the voters list of that area and eligibility same a person should be above 21 years of age 21 years of age and should not hold any office of profit and should be registered as a voter in the municipal area tenure is 5 years this is same for both of them now we come to the municipal municipalities only as their head the municipal chairman okay is in the municipalities the head is called only the chairman and he is elected from amongst the members and he presides over the meetings and acts as a link between the government and the municipality here in case of municipal corporation the head is called the mayor so in our case in dehradun we have the chairman called mayor and he is also elected by the members and he is known as a first citizen of town i hope you know that the first citizen of the country or the state state here is the country is the president okay and in the state the governor and in local area the mayor so he is the first citizen of the city and he presides over the meeting maintains decorum like that of speaker also and receives dignitaries and, and other important guests and acts as a link between corporation and state or central government okay now we come to the executive officer here the executive officer is appointed okay by the state government and what he has to do he has to look after day to day work of the municipality and in case of municipal corporation municipal commissioner is the chief executive officer municipal commissioner and there in case of municipality only executive officer and here municipal commissioner and he is also appointed by the state or central government functions to guide direct okay the functioning of the corporation preparing budget and its estimate and keep a check on the staff and their functioning now we are moving on to the functions of both of them functions you all are aware that the functions of local urban government it may be municipality or municipal corporation are like that to provide hospitals dispensaries vaccinations you know uh, for health um, welfare and to check adulteration to see water and electricity supply to have primary and secondary schools and to have arrangements for schools for adults also to provide sports training programs and centers for the budding youth and to maintain the record of birth and death besides them uh, it has to see that roads shopping malls and you know, streets they all are maintained properly similarly here in case of municipal corporation also to provide hospitals dispensaries vaccination the disposal of the garbage checking adulteration 
in food and milk etc to look after the streets roads illegal construction in the area